Good morning, guys, and welcome to the Porcupine Mountains. This place is absolutely beautiful. Tons of waterfalls. Landscape is like nothing I've found anywhere else before. And this morning we're out here real early. Sun just came up maybe two, three minutes ago. And we're shooting some waterfalls on the western side of the park. This is Presque Isle or the Presque River area. And it is absolutely beautiful. There's a giant waterfall right here behind the camera. There's another waterfall right over here to the right. It is absolutely perfect morning for waterfall photography. It's overcast. There's some haze in the sky from the wildfires. I think this is going to turn out really, really well. I'm going to get start getting set up and I'm thinking we're going to start right here behind the camera at this first waterfall and just kind of see where the day takes us. We've got this overcast diffused light. So take a few waterfall shots, see if maybe we can do a little bit of forest scenes. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure how I feel about the shot. I think I missed my mark just a little bit on that one. I moved around. I couldn't really figure out a good angle. If I could get down into the actual water and move back down the falls a little bit, I think it would have worked a lot better. But being that I'm on a boardwalk and everything's closed off and it's like a 20 foot drop to get down to the water, it's basically impossible to get there. And we really shouldn't be jumping off the boardwalk and running around out here anyway. So I'm gonna move up to the next falls, see what I can find over there. And then I think we're gonna move around in the forest a little bit. This light coming through the trees is just beautiful. It looks phenomenal out here this morning. So we're gonna see what we can come up with. This is the thing I love about coming to the Porcupine Mountains is every time you come here, something's different. The last time I was here, I got one of my favorite fall color photos right over here on this little plateau. And at that point, the falls wasn't flowing anywhere close to what it is now. But now because the flow is so much higher, I'm gonna have to kind of recalculate how I wanna shoot this waterfall. So I'm gonna move around a little bit, see if there's any other compositions that I can find getting really low and close with a wide angle lens, but also trying to create those leading lines and, and kind of guide the eye through the frame. When I'm out here shooting waterfalls or just taking pictures in general, I'm really looking for three specific things. Obviously the first, the light, which direction is it coming from? What kind of light are my, you know, am I working with? Two, lines, trying to figure out where my lines are. And then three, my foreground and my background. Obviously my subject is the waterfall, so I have that established, but I need to figure out what light is on the waterfall, where the lines are going, and what the foreground and background are doing for my subject when I'm setting everything up. So I think I found my composition. I moved way closer to the waterfall. I've gotten lower and I've excluded the entire sky from my shot. The sky being gray, it's just, not doing anything like I mentioned. And getting closer and lower to the water has given me a nice leading line through the foreground here up into the falls. I think this is gonna be the best shot I get from this location. There's a couple other waterfalls we can check out before we leave, so I'm gonna grab these couple of shots and then we'll head to a couple other spots and see what, uh, what opportunities are there.
All right, everybody, well, I made it over to the other side of Presque. We're at the potholes, absolutely beautiful area. I love coming over here any time of year. This is the first time that I've actually seen the spring melt coming through this area and they are flowing like crazy. Absolutely awesome to see, but I'm gonna grab a few photos here and wrap the video up. I am in the forest part of Presque here and I see that the sunlight is starting to come through the treetops and it is just absolutely beautiful. It's kind of creating this neat dappled light all throughout the forest. I'll put a couple shots here at the end so you guys can check it out, but stay tuned because next video we're gonna be going up to Wisconsin. Hopefully we'll get a few opportunities at the Milky Way and some cool sunrises, sunsets. We'll see what happens. But until then, like, subscribe, share with your friends. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care everybody, bye-bye.